Baruch Hashem, today is day 35 of our daily study of Ramam Sefer Mitzvahs, which corresponds to the subject matter being studied in the three chapters a day of Mishnah Torah. So yesterday we started Hilchas Mila. We did chapter one of Hilchas Mila, the uh, laws of circumcision. There are three chapters total in Hilchas Mila. Uh, do you remember, by the way, another set of halachas that had three chapters in it that we did recently? Hilchas Tzitzis, that's right, that had three chapters. Although the way that fell out, it was all on one day. It was one, two, three, chapters one, two, three, all in one day. But what happened with Hilchas Mila is we started chapter one yesterday because we were finishing the last two chapters of Hilchas Barachas, the Laws of Blessings. So we did the first chapter of the Laws of Circumcision. And now we only have two chapters left, which we're finishing today. Uh, and then we're going to start the next section. But the next section is very interesting. It's not a set of halachas. Well, what is it? Okay, we're going to get to that. First, let's do the commandment that corresponds to our last two chapters of Helchas Milo, the laws of circumcision. Here we go. You know this mitzvah. We did it yesterday. Positive commandment number 215. Circumcision. Ves Milo. Uh, interestingly, I'll add a point that I did not mention yesterday, which is, remember I mentioned that it is the obligation initially for the father to circumcise his male child, and if the child becomes an adult and the, the, his own father didn't do that for him yet, then it be, the obligation transfers to the, to the person himself. Okay, what about a mother? What about a mother? Hmm. Okay, so the Gemara in Kiddushin, Dav Chof Tes Omadal of 29a says, because women themselves are not obligated in circumcision, so they do not have an obligation to circumcise their children. It's an obligation upon a father, not an obligation upon a mother. Now, obviously, that means an obligation, but a woman could be the one who arranges for her child to be circumcised. And uh, in fact, there's a biblical story of a mother who performed a circumcision. Do you know who that is? It's Sipira the wife of Moshe Rabbeinu. Obviously, that was before Matan Torah. That was before the giving of the Torah at Sinai, but just an interesting fact. Okay, so that's the laws of Mila. Now, after that, we begin something. I said it's not, it's not a new section of halachas. What is it? Well, before I tell you what it is, what I'll tell you is what's very special about it is at this juncture, those who study three chapters a day of Mishnah Torah, and those who study Sefer Mitzvahs are going to be learning the exact same text. How's that possible? Okay, because what we do now, at the end of Sefer Ahava, we're, at the, 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 we're finishing the second book of the 14 books of Mishnah Torah. So we're finishing Ahava, and we're going to go into Zmanim. Not yet, we, 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 in a few more days, God willing. But at the end of Sefer Ahava, what we do is we learn the Rambam's Nusach Hatvila. That means the version of the Siddur, the prayer book, the text of davening that the Rambam had. And we're going to go through those words, how, how the Rambam prescribes the davening. And it takes a few days, okay? But it's the same text, both for those who study three chapters of the of Mishnah Torah and those who study Sefer Mitzvahs. This is a good time for me to mention that, of course, this class that we're doing here is not text-based. You see, I'm not reading all the words inside. And um, if you are ready for this and you think it would be something that would enhance your study, I would like to encourage you, maybe even today just as a trial, to take a look at the actual text so uh, today's portion of davening that we're going to be studying is everything starting from the morning blessings and up until, but not including, the Shemun Esra, the 18 blessings of the, of the Amidah, the standing prayer. Okay, and it's very hard for me to convey that. They're, they're words of, of prayers, and, and if you go through it, you, you'll, you'll see the version of, that the Rambam used, and you'll notice the similarities and the differences with the Nusach that, that we use. At any rate, but uh, I encourage you to, uh, to take a look at that. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow for some more davening. We're going to be davening for a few days. Okay, see you tomorrow, God willing.